Hello, everyone. I'm today presenter. My name is Zi Xuan Huang. I come from the Department of the Aeronautics and the Astronautics at the Chenggong University. Today, I will report my research about the integrating technology method and artificial neural network to optimize and predict the geometry of unilag simulatory generator and performance. This is my outline, including the introduction, motivation, methodology, result, and discussion, and uh, conclusions. The global warming and the climate change are getting worse in recent years due to the pollution from the CO2 emissions and the thermal power generation. As a result, the problems of the limited resource and air uh, pollution make the research demand for alternative energy source higher and higher. And uh, SDGs and uh, COP26 are the important goals and conference from the uh, United Nations also, pre uh, also represent the human facing a current climate crisis. At present, the research indicates that human uh, being, being only using 34% of the initial energy and the remaining 66% is the energy loose and the waste heat. And for the waste heat recovery of the, uh, the, the generator, it has the several advantages. It includes like the, it's a small size and the white and no pollution and uh, the no moving part and no noise. And in the application of the flue gas with the waste heat by the conversion, uh, conventional simulatory module, the gas can rise the TEG hot side temperature from the room temperature to above 600K in a short time. As a result, the thermal stress is generated and will destroy the TEG. So the reduction of the thermal stress in a TEG is needed. So we apply the the Unilag TN to improve the problem. And the advantage, advantage of the Unilag TEG is including the is a simple structure. And usually uh, he can use on the mid and high temperature applications. And he have the high mechanical strength and low thermal stress. So let's, the, why is the thermal stress? The thermal stress is a mechanical stress created by the any change in temperature of a material. And this stress can lead to fracturing or plastic deformation. So we can, we can see the, the case A. No, no limited material is deformed in this direction. And the case B, because the both sides of the material are fixed, so the TEG geometry is restricted when the temperature rises or falls. So the compressive stress or the tensile stress is generated inside it. And this kind of the stress is called the thermal stress. So we check the literature and the ana analysis it. And this figure shows the paper published before with the keywords of the thermometric and waste heat recovery. And we can see the many paper is published already. And we further add a keyword about the Unilag. And we can see that few people have discussed the Unilag TG only 20, uh, total only 20 papers. So we choose this to be my uh, our research topic. And then we use the keyword, somometric topology method and the neural neural network to research. The results indicate that the, there were the no study discussing this field. Motivation. Uh, no research combined the target method and the neural network and unit activity in phase on the thermal stress and performance. And this study used the target method uh, to maximize the up power and minimize the thermal stress by changing the TN geometry structure and also use the N to pre predict the TN power output uh, to the thermal stress PS ratio and efficiency. Methodology. 
Here we show you the physical module in this study. And this study only used the one couple T3 to an analyze the simulation for optimization. And this study will discuss the effect of different T3 lag geometry for the performance and thermal stress. The lag geometry include the rectangle, triangle, cylinder, and the trapezoidal. Besides, the volume of the four legs are the same. Here we show you the property of the thermoelectric material. And here is show you the mathematical formula of the thermoelectric module and the thermal stress in this study. And there is the assumption and the boundary condition. For the important boundary condition is the temperature of the hot and cold side are set as the 873K and 300K. For the tachyometry method, this study have the four factors include the A. Geometry of the T deck, B. T, TM height, C. Copper substrate thickness, and D. Ceramic thickness. And the upstream function is the power stress ratio. To simulate uh, centrally, the maxima power generation and the minimize the thermal stress of the unit at TN. This study combined the tachyometry method and ANOMA to design the TM and a new objective function of the upper power to thermal stress ratio is conducted to find its maxima value. And we uh, we will discuss use the tachyometry method to make uh, to analyze the maxima upper power and maxima thermal stress ratio with the new unit module. And this is a uh, orthogonal array of this study. In the next part, this study will use the artificial neural network to predict data and the ANN based on some assumptions about the operations of human brain. This is a flow chart of the artificial neural network and this study has the four input parameters and two target upper power. And here shows the compare the result of the other temperature to vary the simulation module. And here is the grid independent test in this study. We compare the less the three one, the less three one. The related error are less than the two percent. So we use the screen number for the simulation. Results and discussion. In this session, we discuss the performance distribution at the different TLX geometry. Uh, it can be seen in the figure that the maximum performance of leg is in the cylinder about the 0.68 watt. However, actually the upper power and the conversion efficiency of the rectangle, cylinder, and the triangle is also very close. And the trapezoidal performance is low, low, the lowest than the other geometry legs. But it is not changed too much. And here is the thermal stress distribution. And uh, the maximum thermal stress is occurred on the triangle leg about uh, uh, 279 megapart. And the rectangle leg have the lowest thermal stress by the 180 megapart. And that is decreased about 34%. In the figure, uh, the maximum is is uh, the maxima thermal stress is generated at the leg corner, and that is because the thermal stress usually occur at the position of material corner and structure discontinuous. And besides, the table shows the PS value for the four thermoelectric leg geometries, and it can be seen that the lowest PS value occur uh, on the triangle leg. Is due to the larger thermal stress on the triangle legs. And here is the Takuji method optimized result. And it can be seen the best combination is the case five. This is the PS value is 0 0.012. And the case 12 have the lowest PS value. Here, analyze the importance of Takuji master vectors and it can be seen this figure and the radar figure 
the TEM high is the most important factor and and then is the geometry type copper thickness and the, uh, and the ceramic streak, uh, thickness the optimal combination is here the upper power and the thermal stress are the 2.9 watts and uh, 232 megapart and the PS is the better than the case vibe and here I show you the thermal stress work on a TM here I show you the ANOVA in this study the ANOVA also shows the, <clears throat> the factor B TM height have the significant influence on the objective function PS value the TM height has the most significant influence on the PS ratio the result is the same as the Takashi method. Besides, the P, P value in this study is set as the 0 0.05. And here is the thermal stress and total current density vector on the three cast are shown here. And it can be found it in the figure that the comparing, uh, comparing the optimal case and the case 12. The maxima thermal stress of the optimal case is reduced by about uh, 16%. And uh, for the upper power, the maximum upper power of the optimal case is 5.4.5 point, uh, times higher than the case 12. In this section, we discuss the data analysis in artificial neural network. The first step. This study takes the Takuji resource data to the input layer. The factor include the geometry of T leg, TM height, copper thickness, and the ceramic thickness. After hidden layer calculation, the upper power layer generated the prediction data. And this study has the two objective functions is the PS value and efficiency. Here analyze the factor wave value in ALN. The radar figure shows the TM height is the most important factor. And this result is the same as the Takashi method. And for the efficiency, the TM height also is the most important factor. And before predicting the, the ALN data, this study adjusts many times database to improve the accuracy for the neural network. In this session, we adjust the five times and it can be seen in the figure that the relative error is along with the increasing the state number and the number and the error value reduced by the continuously correctly. Finally, the, the average error value of the PS value and efficiency are reduced to the 1.41% and one is the 0.35%. Finally, you can see the results after ALN training by the five step improvement. And the linear uh, regression achieves a very high fitting quality. And the error value between the prediction data and the actual data are all less than the 4%. And the error of the optimization, PS value, and the efficiency are. 3.7% uh, and 0.5% Conclusions This study conclusion based on the unit like TG are shown in here uh, For the analysis of the simulatory leg geometry No significant change in the in performance and the maximum thermal stress is occurred at the triangle leg by, by the 279 megapart and a new opportunity function of the upper power to thermal stress PS ratio is conducted to find its maxima value. And the Takaji method result shows the thermal stress reducing a uh, re reduced by the sixteen percent, and the upper power is up by the four point five times. And finally, the artificial neural network is improved in the multiple step so that the average error value is less than 
8%. Thank you for listening.